Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we are diving into new features of Titan CSS version 4. I, I had a video about Titan CSS version 4 and I had some comments on that video. Also how to upgrade from Titan version 3 to version 4. And that's what I'm going to do in this video. But let's see also the CSS based configuration feature in Titan version 4 now. So if you've been using Titan for a while, you know that Configuration used to live in a separate uh, JavaScript file, but with version 4, everything is moving right into your CSS now. Tidewin CSS has always been known for its uh, utility first approach, but with version 4, the team is taking customization a step further, and instead of juggling a Tidewin config file, JS file, you can now configure your design tokens, themes, and even plugins directly within your CSS file using special directives like theme and plugin. And here we have an example. So in this snippet, we're importing Tidewind and then using the theme directive to define our custom font, breakpoints and color values. The magic here is that Tidewind will automatically generate the corresponding utility classes such as a text primary or BG primary based entirely on the on the CSS variables. Let's break this down now. In the past, you had to configure your theme in a JavaScript file. This meant uh, constantly switching between CSS and JS file to adjust design tokens. Now, with CSS first configuration, all your theme customization live in one place in your CSS file, and you get a better syntax highlighting, smoother workflow, and more intuitive design adjustments. So, I want to change your primary color just update the CSS variable in the theme block and Tile will automatically generate the update utility, utility classes. Need to extend the default theme? Simply use theme extend. Also, let's see the modern CSS features. So Tilewind CSS isn't just a utility framework anymore. It's evolving to fully harness modern browser APIs. With version 4, Tilewind integrate, uh, integrates features like uh, native cascade layers, explicit custom properties with a property directive, advanced color functions like a color mix, container queries, and even new gradient and 3D transform utilities. All of this empower you to write cleaner, more efficient CSS that leverages what browsers do best. And now let's create a Laravel project. I'm going to use also Breeze uh, here and see how we can update from upgrade from version 3 to version 4. I'm going to open the terminal. And here I'm going to say Laravel new and create a new Laravel project. Use Blade with Alpine. Also, let's add the dark support. And let's create the project. Then I'm going to open this project with the code and make some changes. I'm going to choose SQLite here. Okay, now CD in that project. I'm going to run npm install and npm run build. And then let's open this with a VS code. Okay, here I am. Here we have the project. We can go to login and we have something like this. Okay, good. Let's see now in the package JSON file, we have the post CSS, Tailwind CSS here, Tailwind is version 3, and also VIT. In Vite, we have just import a Laravel plugin and plugins array put that. Okay. Also, here we have the configuration and then in the resources, CSS, app CSS, we have Tilewind base components and utilities. Now let's start and upgrade this project. I'm going to open the browser and open the Tilewind CSS. I'm going to search for upgrade guide and here using the upgrade tool so if you'd like to try upgrading a project from version 3 to version 4 you can use our upgrade tool to do the vast majority of the heavy lifting for you so let's copy this command open the terminal and i'm going to paste that in hit enter and yeah 
is going to install the Tiling CSS version 4, uh, link to the Tiling config JS to app.css, as you can see. Okay. Megan install sheets to app CSS, installed package Tiling post CSS, removed the auto prefixer, Migrate in post CSS configuration post config.js, update the tiling, added, update the tiling CSS. Okay. Let's see now on the VS code we have change here on app CSS. We have now import tiling CSS, add the plugin, also the source, update the other theme here. We don't see the Tiling config JS file anymore. The vid hasn't changed. We have here also the post CSS config JS, which I'm going to remove. But for now, let's leave and let's open let's open the terminal and run npm uh, run dev or yeah run dev and see. Let's open the browser, open the project, refresh and everything works correctly but as i told you now let's uh, remove that post css using post css as you can see but if you're using vit if you're using vit we recommend migra migrating from a post css plugin to our new dedicated vit plugin to improve performance and the best developer experience okay so you need to import the tiling css and then in plugins array, pass that uh, tiling CSS here. But first, we need to have the tiling CSS vid plugin. So let's install that. In terminal, I'm going to stop and say npm install at tiling CSS slash vid. Okay. Then let's come here and let's copy this command, this uh, code. And inside the, the vid config JS, let's import the tiling CSS from tiling CSS slash vid in plugins array. Add the tiling CSS, save, close this. Now let's remove, let's delete this, and let's open the terminal, run the npm run dev, and let's see. Let's open the browser, open our project, and we lost the design. We, we need to go in the app.css, and here we have the source, but the source is for the vendor level framework views. Let's add also the source for our views directory, so to look inside the views directory. And we can do that with source, Okay, let's save and let's see on the browser now. Everything works correctly. Okay. If I hard refresh, okay, if I change the URL to say uh, register, for example, and everything works. Okay, now let's see the version 4, what we can do. For example, I'm going to go in the app CSS theme. And here I'm going to apply the color primary. Okay, inside the theme, as you can see, object, I'm going to say dash dash color dash primary and pass this as a color primary. Save this file now. And the tiling CSS automatically is going to generate for us the text primary and uh, BG primary. So let me just go in the auth we have login let's open the browser yeah and in this form i'm going to say add a class with the vg primary okay and as you can see automatically we have this color 
now let's come here and as you can see this is not looking very good but this is the apply so the virtual power works also we can remove this and let's go in the components and for example input label here i'm going to remove the text and say text primary okay so we added the color primary here and then we can use that text or bg primary now let's come here and as you can see we have the label email and the password in our text uh, in our color primary that's it all about this video what i wanted to show you friends uh, how to upgrade our laravel project from tailwind version 3 to tailwind version 4 and also apply the color primary now if you like such a video so don't forget to subscribe to my channel like the video share with your friends and see you in the next one all the best thank you very much